everybody, Victoria Marie here, producer director of Gray is the New Blonde, the documentary that I'm doing about the views and attitudes towards women with gray hair, due out at the end of this year, December 2018. Uh, so there is a flurry of activity that I um, am now in a mad push with my director of photography, Dave Nelson. Uh, Karen Hathaway, the associate producer, uh, Beate Venor Pilgreen, she is the stills photographer, and the uh, historian consultant. And I haven't done a video on, on her yet, but I will. So we are all working in this mad rush to get this done and released by the end of this year. So I do have an update for you, but before I begin, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who comments, who likes uh, my videos, and I appreciate everyone's support. And if you're new and you'd like to subscribe, you like my content, there's a little heart right there in your right-hand corner. If you click on that heart, you will become a subscriber. Okay, so for the update. Two weeks ago, we interviewed Lorraine Massey. She wrote or co-wrote uh, with Michelle Bender, I think that's her name, uh, the book Silver Hair, the handbook, and now Lorraine is on, I believe, a world tour uh, for this book. She was so delightful. We had so much fun, and it was just a jammed, packed day. She came with her makeup artist, Julio Santini, and if I have that wrong, I'll make sure in the show notes that I get it right. And then um, uh, I guess it was a friend of hers, Mariko, and she came along and was there at the filming. So we just had an incredible day. We then headed over to um, Hollywood Boulevard at the Chinese Theater, and we did a lot of B-roll filming of Lorraine, and she is one of the featured Silver Sisters in the opening sequence of the of Greatest New Blonde. So that was fantastic, and then we went for drinks, so the whole day was just magical. Then last weekend, um, I invited Jill Kirsch, the color guru, to come and do a demonstration of what colors are now correct for women who have decided to embrace their gorgeous grays. And she had a live model, Victoria, there's a lot of Vickies and Victorias in this film, um, who is, I believe she's Latin. Um, so she did a live demonstration of the different color swatches on Victoria. And then digitally, we also are doing, um, in the movie that is, a color demonstration on four other ladies. Monique Parent, very Caucasian, very fair. Vicky, another Vicky, who is African American, salt and pepper. Um, I would say she has an equal amount of salt and pepper. Then we had Terry. She is Asian, I just don't know from what part. Uh, very long, straight, gorgeous hair, and also an equal amount of salt and pepper. And Victoria, the live model, has a lot of pepper. So that was really interesting. And then the final digital model, who I am actually interviewing in a couple of weeks face to face, is Anna. Anna is Indian and she's, I don't know, maybe a few months into her transition. She has shorter hair, but her color is so striking. I can't wait to interview her. Um, anyway, so we had that first. And let me tell you, Jill, she was made for the camera. She just, she was incredible. As soon as the camera went on, she went on. And I didn't have to say or do a thing. She was like fantastic. Um, so that was the first. Then I interviewed, now this was the third time because I have been following um, Rosa's transformation 
not only transition, but her transformation. So when I interviewed her the first time, which was a little over a year and a half ago, she had like this much silver peeking through. Now, and she had very long brown hair. She did not cut it. She didn't do anything. She just let it come through. And now it's like down to here and it it is stunning. It is com completely white. It If you didn't know her, you would think it's fake. That's how incredibly beautiful it is. Um, so I interviewed her for the last time. And then two besties, two girlfriends who decided they were gonna support each other as they went gray. So that was a really great interview. Oh yes, and the very last interview of the day was with Wendy Packer, who created the Facebook page and the Instagram page, Fashion Over 50. And if you're familiar with that page, you know that she is constantly posting fabulous, uh, photos of what's happening in the fashion world. So uh, I wanted to have her come on board and just share a few tips for uh, women who are now questioning, well, what should I be wearing with my newly transitioned gray hair? And so she kind of weighed in on that. So that was exciting. And I have some interviews set up for the end of this month, and then that's it because to get this movie completed and released by the end of this year is a huge undertaking because now the editing, we've actually already started editing, the editing part of the documentary begins. And that's the creative fun part, but it's also can be very tedious and can take a very long time. So I'm, I'm constantly, this is a constant 24 seven for me now for the last two months. Um, I now have a deadline and I have deadlines before the final deadline. And so, uh, whereas before I was just kind of doing it when I could, I'm still trying to work, whether it's a commercial or TV show or whatever, just to make money because right now we're in this kind of a budget called a zero budget. <laughs> but we're trying to get funding, some funding. We don't even need a lot of money. So if there's anyone out there who wants to contribute, meaning you want to uh, fund this movie, a thousand dollars, a five hundred dollars, ten thousand dollars, I mean, I don't know who's watching this, but please send me a message because we're actually going to do another crowdfunding campaign um, and we have some other ways in which we are going to in approach investors or funders, if you will, because it's not gonna be much needed to get the, the documentary done, but still some money is needed. Um, I was interviewed for a major publication, worldwide, worldwide publication. If I said it, everyone would know exactly, oh yes, but I don't wanna jinx it. So it's not due out until August and I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, I, when it comes out, that's when I'm going to tell everybody what it is, where they can read it, where they can find it, etc. But it's not Time Magazine, not yet. <laughs> but let me tell you, it's right up there with Time Magazine, okay? Um, and then at the end of this month, I'm being interviewed by a New York City radio podcast. I'm not really sure that I'm going to put out right away. So as soon as it's ready, to be heard. I'll put that out on Gray as the New Blonde. Um, what else? I don't know, I, I can't, I'm gonna try to do as many updates as possible, um, but there is just a flurry of activity going on and it's all very exciting. It is stressful, but I have to say at the end of the day, this is all very exciting and I'm, I feel so wowed by it all and to think this was started with that one video in July of 2013 when I did my, and I'll, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video, when I did my own gray hair transition video and posted it on this channel. And it started from there. And here we are today. Anyway, please post, comment. I enjoy it all and I, 
love to see what everyone has to say about their own personal stories. So keep your comments coming. I appreciate all the likes and all the support. And um, I think that's it. So until next time, ciao for now.